Hey yo, this is Dash. Yeah. yeah. Yo, this is Dash, and I don't know how, quite how exactly I find myself in these situations, but hopefully you can see that there. Um, this is another trailer frame. I wish I had some more light, some better light. Um, I'm getting ready to rescue this thing, and actually, let me get some light. Okay, so I got my flashlight here, and uh, I'm getting ready to rescue this thing. So from what I'm told, this is another about four by eight trailer. And you see these wheels, they look pretty awesome, and plenty dry rotted. Um, I'm not even gonna try to uh, attempt to hook up the trailer lights. I, uh, I need to move these pallets off of it and uh, what I did was I ended up bringing I brought my jack and my impact and uh, wheels so hopefully I can get those those tires off the wheels and tires off of this thing and I'll be able to take it home and rescue it I don't know yet exactly what I'm gonna be doing with it but um I don't know trailer build v2 Maybe uh, a grill on the trailer? I don't know. Uh, well, hopefully, um, we'll just kind of document what goes on and um, maybe when I get it home, if I can get it home in a garage, I'll give you a better, more thorough walk around. At this point, I need to go ahead and get these pallets off of the trailer and then um, I will change out the wheels and tires and get it home. Okay, so, uh, quick situation report oh, focus there we go I have the trailer cleaned off um, I don't know if you guys knew this but I had one of those uh, little like 4x4 four four trailers from Harbor Freight it was actually like 40 inches by 48 inches but nonetheless I had one of those trailers and it got run over um, if I can find some pictures of it all crushed up I'll put some pictures in it here of it here But nonetheless, that trailer had, um, the tires on it was still good. So what I did was I brought those tires with me and um, this, the wiring on here is pretty much non-existent. I'm not even gonna try to hook that up. So, no tag on it. Lights are all jacked up. The frame looks good. Um, for the price I can't beat it the only concern I have is I just need to really make sure this is a two inch yes it is a two inch ball perfect I didn't look at that um, some of these smaller trailers have a one and seven eighths ball which I think might fit on the two inch but I'm not sure anyway it came with a uh, a wheel chalk for a motorcycle apparently this is what this trailer was used for hauling a motorcycle a dirt bike around and um, it came with this wheel. This wheel is actually one of the um, a five lug, so I think it's five by five or five by four and a half, or uh, I think it's five by five. Anyway, came with a free wheel and a wheel chalk. So I'm gonna I tied that down and I'm gonna take that. If you've never done anything sketchy like driving a trailer home, what I think I'm about 25 miles away from home with no lights, no registration, you ain't living. So. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing home and uh, I'll check in when I get there, all right? Okay, so I know better than trying to actually show you me because of the fact that it's so dark, but I wanted to show you that I've been traveling about 60, between 60 and 70 miles an hour. And of course I'm hitting a little bit of traffic now. And you can't really see, it's hard to see. Hopefully I can get someone uh, behind me. 
but I've pretty much forgotten that trailer was back there. Let's see if I can get someone else. Uh, nope. I can just see the tag, the tag bracket in the rear view mirror. But, I mean, uh, I'm chugging along 38.1 miles per gallon. I'm slightly going uphill. But, only road noise I hear is from uh, from the tires on my car, which need to be replaced. But uh, I'm chugging along like there's nothing even back there. Let's see. Kind of see the tag bracket back there. Hopefully you can hear me. There it is. Hopefully the wind noise isn't too bad and you can hear me, uh, but you can see that little piece of bracket right there. That's the only indication I have of the trailer being back there. There you can see it right there. Um, and it's, it's towing pretty straight and fine and true. And um, yeah. All right, so I'm glad. Made it home in one piece. And I'm glad I was able to get the uh, light in my driveway to come on. But here is a better look at the trailer. Um, it towed just fine. Those wheels I said that I took off of that other trailer I had worked for me. Uh, like I said, if you've never done anything sketchy uh, in wood vehicles, you've never lived. Um, I think this might actually be a full sheet of plywood so this might actually be four foot by eight by eight and some change um, I need to do some digging check the check the tongue see if I can find a VIN or like a manufacturer or something on it uh, but here we go for what I pay for it I'll figure something out to do and uh, don't expect anything uh, about this trailer any anytime soon. This is gonna be one of those, uh, I'll probably do a video on it um, not too in the not too distant future to talk about maybe some plans or you know get your feedback on some ideas for what I wanna do with this. Um, like I said, for what I have into it, it's gonna need, it already has new tires. It's gonna need a uh, lighting kit and well wiring kit and lights um and a new deck i don't think i want to do expanded i'll probably end up doing whatever you know something similar to what's on here currently which is just uh it is just uh plywood um that looks like it might actually be uh half inch plywood too so that's good stuff it um it looks like it's pretty far gone like I wouldn't trust putting anything of value up on there but uh it looks like it's a good place to start um so again I'm gonna end it here thanks as always for watching if you haven't already um, please do subscribe and uh, come on back for more talk to you soon